Hey guys, this is Bolo and today in this tutorial, I will show how you can create this kind of videos using Adobe After Effects and Blender easily. So hope you guys will find the video useful. So without any further delay, let's start today's tutorial. So first of all, we need to install some script and add-on which are available for free. So here I leave a link in the description for this page. So go to this page and download this After Effects to Blender file. Just click on that. It will be downloaded. And also we need to download this export composition data just click on that it will be downloaded later come to this after effects go to this file scripts select this install script file and locate the file what we have downloaded and select after that restart after effects now come to blender here we need to install the add-on so here i'm using 4.5 version so come to this edit references come to this add-ons and click on this small arrow here and install from disk go to the location where we have downloaded select it and install from disk and later save those preferences so once this is done we can come back to after effects and now let's load our footage onto this project panel so right click on this project panel import select file so here i got this footage from pixabay i will leave a link in the description just select the footage and import so here we got our footage along with the composition created so here you can see i got the footage right so i will trim out the footage like only 10 seconds so beyond the 10 seconds press n on the keyboard now right click trim come to work area so here you can see the footage is having this camera moment so in order to place 3d objects where the camera is not steady first we need to track the footage so select the footage from this timeline go to this window enable this tracker so i think this is enabled now for this window enable tracker here and select this track camera option so now it starts to analyze our footage and gives us some tracking points when it is done so here our tracking is done and we got some track points here so first of all come to this advanced option drop down it and look for this error value so here average error is 0.23 pixels which is okay anything less than one pixel will be fine if you got this error value more than one pixel click on this detailed analysis option it will track the footage once again and it will reduce the error value so here this value is good so now i will select few track points here now i will hold left mouse click and drag around the track points here now right click first of all select this set ground plane and origin so that the origin point is at this position now right click create solid and camera so now here you can see we got some solid created so now if i play this you can see the track solid is staying in its position so now our tracking is done so now we need to export this tracking data into blender so for that we will be using scripts so let's disable this hide out this video layer or else you can keep it like that only but select only track solid and 3d camera now come to this file script here you will get this export composition data to Jensen. Simply click on that and browse for a location where you want to save that file. So here I will save this as 3D text and save. And now click on this export option. So now our tracking data is exported to that file. So now we can close After Effects and open Blender. Now here we are in Blender. Here I'm using this 4.5 version. Now let's import the tracking data. So go to this file option import select this after effects composition data and locate the file so here i got that file so simply select it and import a composition so now you can see we got our track solid and also we got this tracking points so here let me increase the timeline till this track points so i think this is like a three note from frames so here we will get our track solid along with the camera so if i press zero you can see we got the camera we are seeing through camera but here the composition is set to full hd whereas we have used vertical video right so let's change the resolution so go to this options output options let's change this to 1080 by 1920 since the footage resolution is vertical and yeah frame rate is 24 okay now let's come to this camera options here we need to load the footage so come to this camera options, enable this background images, expand this background images, now add image. Since we are using video clip, let's select this movie clip here and 
select the file from this option open so here i got the footage select it and open clip now you can see we got our footage here I'll scroll down and let's increase the opacity to one so let's select this tracking data so this is the tracking data right so if we observe clearly here the tracking data is starting from zero because after effects starts from zero whereas blender starts from one so we need to move this tracking data one frame backward so beyond this timeline so beyond this timeline here select this tracking data press a to select all the keyframes now press g and move one frame backward now this tracking will be perfect so now we got our track solid staying in its position so now we can add any 3d objects here so first of all i will be using this blender kit add-on to get free models and by the way blender kit is free to download so let's search as fanta so here i will search for fanta and just click on the image it will be loaded so it will be loaded onto the plate so here we got the model so right click select it and let's increase the scaling so now you can see we got the fanta bottle here let's place it in this okay so now this model will be staying in that position only so if you want to add any rotation you can do that so be on the first frame let's come to this object properties before doing that let's add an empty so we need to bring this cursor point anchor point onto this object so shift s hold shift s and cursor to selected so here we got the origin point onto this fanta bottle so now shift a empty and add plane axis so let's increase the scaling okay so first let's select the model here so select the model first and later hold shift key and select this empty now control p and select this second option which is object key transform so now using this empty we can control this entire model okay so now let's rotate this so be on the first frame come to this object properties so here i want to rotate in z axis so add a keyframe here now move to the last frame and let's rotate it in minus 360 and add a keyframe so if i play this now you can see the rotation animation is working on but the speed is not linear so place your cursor on the timeline press a to select both the keyframes now press t and select this linear now the speed will be constant so press 0 to see through camera and now we got this rotation animation so if you want to tilt this one bit let's tilt it this here okay let's tilt this a bit here so now if I play this, you can see we got this rotation animation and now let's add text. So shift A, select this text option or else you can add it from here, add select text. So press S and increase the scaling. Here we got the text. Now RX90 to rotate this and let's place this just before to this model and also let's bring it here. So in order to edit this text, press tab key for edit mode or else you can change it from here now backspace and let's delete it and i will add orange okay now come to this text options so geometry let's increase this extrusion value so extrusion is added so i will reduce this a bit so this is fine and depth let's add 0 0.025 to get that smooth bevel and font if you want to change we can change it from here so i will select a font here so open so i think this is fine yeah i think this is cool now scroll down let's come to this alignment and let's make it center and let's bring the center here text at the center let's place this here so i think this is fine since we are not animating the test i will not convert this into mesh so press zero to see through camera and yeah so i think we got our text here so we got the text along with the bottle nice so now we need to have the shadows onto the ground plane right so first of all let's save the project so go to this file option save so project is saved so let's move on to this render viewport here click on this render viewport so here the scene is looking dark because there is no light in the scene so now let's add hdra for lighting so come to this poly heaven site so here i'm using this hdra i will leave a link in the description for this also 
So click on this download button and it will be downloaded. So now let's load that HDRA into this in. So come to this world properties. Click on this yellow dot of the color and select this environment texture. And from this option, we need to load the HDRA. So open. So it is in downloads. So let's select the HDRA and open image. So now you can see we got some light in the scene, but our footage is not visible. So come to this render properties, scroll down, expand this film option and enable transparent. So now you can see we got our footage visible. So here the shadows are falling onto this plane, right? So let's select the plane here. Let's increase the scaling. Change this to edit mode. Edge selection, let's select this edge. And yeah. So now here we can see we getting the shadows. Nice. So now you can see we are getting the shadows, right? So if you want to rotate the shadows, we can do that. So come to the shading option here, shading workspace. Now press zero to see through camera. Let's change this to render viewport here. So from this option, change this to world. So here select this node, press control plus T for node wrangler. And by the way, if you're not enable node wrangler, go to this edit, preferences, add-ons and look for node, NODE. Enable this node wrangler, save the preferences. After this, press Ctrl plus T. So now we can rotate the HDRA. So here you can see the shadows are getting rotated. So I think this is fine. So let it be here like this. Now let's come to this layout once again. And now here we want only the shadows. We don't want the plane to be visible, right? So for that, we need to use Cycles Engine. So first of all, let's add some material onto the text. So come to this material view and let's search orange. And uh, I think I will use this one. Simply click on that and it will be loaded onto the text. So here you can see we got some material added. And now we need to hide out this plane, right? So let's select the plane here. Come to this render properties and change the render in here to cycles and device. Enable GPU compute. And now come to this object properties, visibility and enable the shadow catcher. So now you can see we are getting only the shadows visible, whereas the plane is not visible. Nice. So I think I need to reduce the light density. So come to this work properties and let's reduce the strength to 0.5 or else let's make it 0.75. Yes. So I think this is looking good. Nice. So I think this is fine. Now let's come to this render settings once again. So if you are using cycles, we need to change the values here to reduce the render time. So maximum samples, I will keep only 16 and the noise threshold, I will make it 0.1. So if your device is capable to render much samples and if you want better quality, keep it as default or else you can play with the values here. So I, here I want to reduce the render time. So I'm making these changes. And also if you want to reduce the light paths, you can reduce it from here. This will again reduce the render time. And yeah, I think this is fine. Now come to this color management and let's make the transform to standard. And if you want to add contrast, come to this look option and add contrast here. So, okay, you can do this in post production. So I will leave this to none. And first of all, let me bring the text here. So now come to this output properties. So resolution, I will leave this to default. Enable this render region, crop to render region. Frame rate, this should match with the footage. So footage frame rate is 24. So I will leave this to 24. So frame range 1 to 301 is fine. Here we need to select a folder where we can save the files. So quickly I will select a folder to save these files. So we got this. And file format, let it be PNG and make sure this RGBA is selected to get the alpha channel. So once these settings are done, go to this render and click on this render animation. So this renders only the CGI elements like this orange text and this Fanta can, we won't get the footage visible. So once the sequence is rendered, we need to use any editing software to do composting. So here I will be using the After Effects only to do composting and later I will do some color correction in order to match these CG elements with the footage. So in this way, we can create this kind of videos using Adobe After Effects and Blender easily. So hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial. If you have learned anything new, please like, share and subscribe my channel to support me. So we'll meet in the next video. Until then, signing off. Take care. Bye.